Wow. 19 minutes. Oh yeah, I should probably show this too. So 2 out of 10 is what we want. 6 out of 6 honeycombs is the only collectible we've got to get in Spiral Mountain. And 100% in Mumbo's Mountain. So that's 100% and that's everything we need for Trotless. So that's the easy variant of Trotless. There is a harder variant. I don't know if I'm going to be good enough to do it though. Let me get out of Termite. I won't time it. Let me see if I can do a little bit of Termite without the timer. Just so I can show like the extra variant of it. The other one I've got to practice too is getting up that that hill for the last jiggy without termite. That one I'm a little bit worried about. I swear if I got the wrong version I'm gonna be so mad. Oops. What's gonna be the easiest way? Oh my god. This is gonna be fun. Oh, I got to that one at least. That's not gonna work because I my shadow was on the slope the entire time. Nope. Yes, it is bet possible. It's only possible in this version. If it is the right ver- whoops, in this version. So there's two versions. The version people would be familiar with is version 1.1, where it's patched. <laughs> My hands are sweaty too. So in this version, Banjo's shadow can be on the slope and there's a secret little counter that counts down. And it resets every time the shadow leaves the slope. <laughs> the problem is though, when you commit to a, a jump, it's very, hard, whoop, it's very hard to redirect it back. It's definitely the right version because if I did this on 1.1, I would have instantly fell. Damn it. Ah. There's also a certain spot we start here. Damn it, that one's hard. The only hard part to this is just getting used to the angling. Because the theory behind it's not that hard. Oh! I had it. I actually thought I fell, which is why I stopped, but I actually had it. I actually doubted myself, so I fell. Damn it. Nah, I have to go up much higher than that to get that slope. Analog stick is getting absolutely ruined. Nope. Nope. Nope, I'm on that slope for too long. Nope. It definitely depends.
depends on like where we start. Whoops. So I want to be... Now that's going to fall. I said I really wish I had the tool that shows you... Oh, fuck. Um, shows you the counter to kind of explain it better because it's really easy to explain when there's the visual... Ah! The visuals behind it that actually show you what's going on behind the scenes for it. I mean, that was probably the perfect example. Like, you saw how my shadow was off the slope for a, a lot longer. And it was only, like, a tiny little bit where Banjo's shadow was on the slope. It's just getting the imports into my head. It's actually not that hard. That was too long. I think you get like one second and that's it. Damn it, not too high. I wasn't high enough. I'm not going to make it. I should have gone back to that platform. So it's one, two, three. Ah, too much, too long on the slope. So I had a second and that, that was over. I believe it's a second. It might be a little bit less than a second. No! Oh, I might have had it. My hands are so sweaty though. Wait, one, two. No, I'm too long. So I needed to come out. So one, two. Start there, come out, come in. Whoops. Actually, I can do this. One, two. I was trying to curve back in. One, two. Uh, for speed run purposes, actually. I want to run this. So doing the termite is actually a lot slower. Oh shit! I actually nearly had it. I don't know what went wrong there. So this would be probably the highest skill leveled game I will be running if I do actually end up running shotless, termiteless. Platformers are such a bastard to run. Oops. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is not easy, I will say that. So I was watching the tutorial and I was like, oh f my god, this is going to be a pain to learn. But doing it, I was like, alright. So this is hard, but it's not as hard as I thought it would be. Oh. The other thing I need to kind of keep in mind while I do this, and this is what makes it hard, is 
Not only do I need to kind of keep the timing on my jumps. <gasps> I did it! I got the first level done! Oh my god, I did it! And I wasn't even being serious. I was like, oh, whatever. I'll just give this a go. Alright, I got the first one. Is that with the easy way to skip down to it or... Where you backflip off and then you do the wall jump and then... Oh god, if I fall to the bottom I'll just say screw it, I'll come back another day and, and try this. Whoops. Uh, so this one... Ooh! Don't fall down. Don't fall down. Otherwise I give permission- oh fuck. Otherwise I give everyone permission to spam noob. Uh. Uh. Oh. I got on at the like, last second. I don't know how I got on there, but I did. That is going to be really hard to jump on that one. So this one obviously was, this is why that this was patched. Because you could make it up here with Banjo. Ugh. So if you try this on the Switch version, it won't work because it's version 1.1. Xbox version has it patched. Oh, that one is really hard. Hold on. I wonder if I can just... I can. this high. Oh my god, how am I going to get up to that? I wasn't actually expecting to do it on camera. But yeah, that's that's version 1.0. You can try it on Xbox and Switch, but it won't work because it's uh, using version 1.1. So this is there's certain parts that would allow you to do this. And which is why this is faster. Because you don't need to do the mumbo tokens. E. Thank you for the $2 super sticker. Um, you don't need to collect the, the mumbo tokens. Uh... What's the other reason why this is quicker? I think just purely because you don't need to go through the mumbo transformation, don't need to grab mumbo tokens. So you don't need to be like go out of your way for a few of them. 